For Titan Ore, Brittle Ore, and what's inside the abandoned mine on Bright Sands? The abandoned mine has a variety of goods, including compound sheets, Kotec Multitool, Nickel, Bearings, Circuit Boards, and even Aluminum Scrap. In this video, we'll go over the location, what you need to get in, and the loot I got from running the mine a few times. Ahoy, I'm Captain K, and welcome to my Tips and Tricks series for the Cycle Frontier. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The abandoned mine is found on the Bright Sands map, at the very top of the map. It's right next to an extraction, so you want to pay attention when you come around to it. In order to get into the abandoned mine, you'll need the abandoned mine key. As far as I know, all keys are RNG based loot spawn and don't have static spawns, meaning you'll need to farm jackets and small white containers for keys. I'll be making a key farming video, so stay tuned for that. Now outside of the mine, there are a couple containers you can loot. There's also rocks on the right hand side of the mine along the wall right next to the entrance. If they've been hit, it means there are probably players in the area, so be careful. Otherwise, when you go into the mine, there are going to be several boxes in the center of the room and some loose, brittle titan ore laying around. And the boxes here is where you'll find the Kotec Multitool, compound sheets, circuit boards, and aluminum scrap. Scattered all around the cave are rocks to loot, which primarily at this time contain brittle titan ore. Titan ore can be farmed here as well, but it's a rarer spawn. A tip for doing this efficiently, shut the door behind you and smack open the colored part of the rock. You don't need to bust open the entire rock, just enough to loot every single ore and then the rock will disintegrate naturally. There's also an auto miner that you can get a little bit later on in the game, but in my experience it's extremely loud and will probably draw more attention than not if people are trying to extract in the area. Let's talk about this mysterious door. As far as I've been able to research, that door has no function at this point, and the key isn't in the game. Maybe it will be expended in the future, and if you know anything about this door, please let me know in the comment section below. Before you leave that mine area, make sure to hit the caves on the right hand side of the door. There are several rocks where you can mine various ores here, but primarily I found quite a bit of nickel. I promised to go over the loot that I acquired through running these caves, and what I found is that you'll get a lot of brittle titan ore, some titan ore, and the various good as I mentioned before, I don't really think that this is enough loot for two people to run. I think this is a one man operation. When I went in by myself and I came out with 30 brittle titan ore, that probably netted me like 15, 16, 17,000 marks. Not a bad haul, especially if it's something that you're doing on the way out to extract, but this isn't something where you're going to want to be like, hey guys, you want to go and, you know, triple team the, the mine? I think it's really not going to be that great for all of you. So I would recommend sticking to solo, but this is the loot that I found. That's my write up on what's inside the abandoned mine. Like and subscribe if this video helped you. I stream on Twitch. If I'm not playing the cycle, I'm playing Escape from Tarkov. So come say hey there. I'll see you all on the next video.